And here we go. This is what sold this week on eBay for the first week of May 2021. And I've finally gotten to it. It's actually July 7th right now. And I'm finally getting to the first week of May, which, hey, this stuff happens. But anyway, it's hot. The fans are running. So if you hear them running, I do apologize. But it, it, it's, it's really muggy tonight. It's actually like 20, min 20 minutes till midnight. But, uh, but it's still hot, though. So we had a really nasty thunderstorm tonight. That was kind of interesting. We don't get those too awful much, but uh, when we do, we get, a, we get pretty good ones. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about the weather. Uh, yeah, so this is a uh, a PC, an old PC game for Windows 95. It's called Forsaken. And let's see, I didn't pay anything for this. Had it, uh, I think I probably got it in a, a free stuff at the niche or something like that. Anyway, I listed it November 3rd, 2019. It sold May 1st. For seven dollars and sixty-four cents plus shipping, so you know, uh, what, what is that? That's uh, going on two years, a year and a half to get that sold. So, um, but it's free and it doesn't really take up much room. So it was cool. I, I think I must have done this. Maybe I sold it on. Maybe I was running a sale or something. I don't know. Seven sixty-four is an odd number. It looks like I had it for eight ninety-nine. So man, it's been a while. So okay, well. Let's keep moving. Monopoly property title these these I didn't think I don't think I had these listed for too long. No, I didn't. Uh, I think the game was pretty much roached. The the box and everything was just what just wasn't worth trying to list. And honestly, a lot of these a lot of these uh, these things like this, you you'll probably end up making more money anymore off of trying to sell them off of parting them out anymore than you will. Uh, actually trying to sell the game and then you don't have to package a game and it's just so much easier so anyway uh, I paid nothing for these listed these April 18th this year sold May 1st for four ninety nine, five 5 bucks plus shipping 5 bucks plus shipping you know honestly I'm all, if I'm not paying anything for something and they're paying 5 bucks plus shipping I can handle that you know I don't want to do do it too awful much but when nothing else is selling and this is i'll take it next vc andrews lot of five oh the logan family books these cost me 50 cents for the lot i listed them december 9th last year they sold may 2nd for 20 dollars plus shipping so six months six months to sell them that's that's cool for 20 bucks all right this is, it's just one of these that sold. I don't know if I, it was the chili seasoning. The chili seasoning one. Now, of course, there's nothing in them. They're empty, but it's the one that's marked chili seasoning. Let's see. 79 cents when I bought these. I paid 79 cents each for them. And they've been listed since November 17th, 2019. So they, they've been around a little while now. Uh, but I've been selling them off bit by a bit. There's, what is, I've sold, what? According to this, I've sold six so far, so uh, there are some left. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Sold May second for eight bucks, seven ninety nine plus shipping. Yep, that's right, seven ninety nine plus shipping on that. All right, what do we got? What's next? This is a. It's a pastry server. I I can only show you the handle, because uh, it's just a screenshot. But, uh, yeah, where'd my thing go? There it is. All right, it's just the pastry server. It's Oneida. I paid a quarter for, for it. And uh, I listed it November 19th. Last year, it sold May 2nd for $9 plus shipping for the pastry server. You can see the little pictures maybe down there. Uh, yeah, so next... And Othello. These are just some Othello discs. What did I sell? Was it 10 of them? Yeah. 10 discs. I didn't, haven't done very well with these. I paid 18 cents. Um, I think this is the only lot that I've sold. Yeah, just the one lot that has sold. So this is a hard one to sell. But uh, I listed it uh, March 31st and it sold May 2nd for 4 bucks plus shipping. $3.99 plus shipping on that one. 
And it's a cannon jar lid. Uh, let's see. Cannon jar lid. Twin circles. Yep, the twin circles. Just the one. Nope, two. Was it one? No. Yeah, it was just one. I paid a dollar ten for it. Uh, I listed it March 15th. Sold May 2nd for eight dollars. Seven ninety nine plus shipping. I would not. I don't think I would pay a dollar ten for them now. Maybe. I, I don't sell that many of them now. Uh, they deal. They are still selling a little bit here and there, but not like they were. And uh, I am getting kind of low. I don't have too many left. I have had opportunity to buy more, and I just, I just haven't. Um, I don't know. I might just let them go. But they've been pretty lucrative for me over the years. <clears throat> so, okay, next. And these are a couple of early 1990s Red Lobster, like, lighthouse tumblers, glass tumblers. These had crabs on them there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's crabs and, you know, the crab legs are on there and everything. I don't know if you can see it, but I paid a buck fifty-eight for the pair. Buck fifty-eight. I listed them, oh, uh, we got that date wrong. December 3rd, 2020. December 3rd, 2020. And they sold May 2nd for $20 plus shipping. 20 bucks plus shipping for those. Woot, 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 woot. Next. Uh, these, little, these pair of gloves. Just one pair. I paid a buck. Listed them August 7th, 2016. Yep. They have not been big sellers. I've, been, I've sold a few here and there, though. You know, but they have not been big sellers. I probably... I don't know what I should do with them, you know. I haven't had any complaints, though, from anybody about them, so they must still be good. Uh, but, yeah, they sold uh, May 3rd for six ninety nine plus shipping. Six ninety nine plus shipping. I don't know if I should maybe list, maybe bump them up to nine ninety nine and put free shipping on them or, or, or something and see if I can blow them out. I don't know. I think I've done free shipping on them before, and it hasn't worked. It hasn't, hasn't made a difference, so... Uh, yeah, it just cost me money. All right, next. If I run a sale or something like that, I don't. I, I forget to differentiate differentiate the uh, items that de that are free shipping, so they end up selling cheap, and then I have to lose money on shipping. <laughs> That's my fault. Okay, Aunt Martha's hot hot, hot iron transfers. What do you say? I sold one of these. Uh, Fifty cents I paid for it. Listed. March 18th, 2018, three years later, sold on May 3rd for $5.99 free shipping. So I don't make much on those. I just can't, I just can't get rid of them. There's not, there aren't too many left. Uh, there aren't too many at all left, so that's good. This I sold, actually the listing for this actually showed two because I was going to list them together but then I decided to break them up and so when they sold the guy thought he was buying two but thankfully the shipping was to Canada and it was way too expensive so he asked me to cancel which was great so I canceled it so that you know the sale was twelve ninety nine, but I, it, it, it's canceled um, because it, he didn't want to pay the shipping so that was good and then I could change the listing, so I changed the listing, got rid of that picture with both of them on there, so that no one would think that there was two available anymore. Even though it, it only said, it just showed one, but that doesn't matter. Pictures are what matters. Okay, so next. Another cannon jar lid. Well, maybe I should keep buying them. I paid a buck for this one. I listed it April 18th. It sold May 4th for eight bucks plus shipping. The Old Man and the Boy. I picked this up at my neighbor's closet. Uh, it's a thrift store near me, and uh, I paid ten cents. Actually, it was probably less than that. I got it in a, a bag of books for a dollar, so it may have been a little more, or a little less, depends on how many I got. But I always say ten cents. I don't. I don't usually. I've I've gotten better at breaking it breaking it down as I'm listing now. But anyway, yeah. So I listed this. Uh, March 24th, it sold May 4th, May 4th, 
it sold May the 4th uh, for 60 bucks. 60 bucks plus shipping. I, I, I saw it and I went, huh. And I remember that name Robert Rourke used to be on a list that I had years and years ago for, uh, that I, I kept with me everywhere I went before, before smartphones, I had a, I had a book list that I took with me. Um, for a while I started carrying a notebook because uh, my list was too big of authors and such that I should look for. And this, I remember his name. So that, that came from years ago. I remembered that. So I pulled that one and I'm not sure if I found any comps on it or not, but I, but I think I may have found something, but it, but I, I did price high. Um, quite a, quite a bit higher, I think, than than what the other ones were, and it sold. So it sold for sixty bucks. So that was a great that was a great deal on that book. I like it. I like it. Civil War. Uh, this is a like a, a a miniature set of figures. I got this in that uh, that two hundred fifty two hundred fifty dollar buy that I I did a video about. I did a uh, was it all haul video or whatever. So this thing cost me three dollars and sixteen cents for it, and I listed May second. It sold May fourth for fourteen dollars, which was which was a fair price for it. So I mean, it wasn't high, it wasn't low. It was it was uh, it was a fair price. And let's see, uh, that was plus shipping on it. So that yeah, yeah. So fourteen bucks for that. So that that was good. I've way well. I, I already, well, I don't know if I told you or not. This was probably the first, maybe this was like the first thing I sold out of that. I think this may have been the first thing I sold out of that. I don't remember. I might have had some back in April. That's all. But anyway, yeah, so maybe not. Okay, next. And I got this in, in that set, as in that thing as well, I think. Yeah, I got this in that. Yeah, so I think this is the the, this is where I first started selling this stuff out of that. So this I also paid three sixteen for, and listed it May second. Sold May fourth for twenty four dollars uh, plus shipping. I did take a best offer, and that was a fair price for this item. There's some that sell higher, some that went lower. Uh, condition wise, mine was on the upper end of condition for used ones. So uh, yeah, it was a good price for it. I checked. I think I checked a couple months later checked after it sold a little while after it sold and I think the comps were lower I'm not sure but it doesn't matter to me mine sold for 24 bucks so that's what I'm that's what I care about all right uh, Star Trek Voyager string theory this was not this was something else this was from a bag lot from the niche and uh, thrift store I paid 36 cents for the pair listed April 5th sold May 4th for 8.99 plus shipping and this is a Boy Scouts neckerchief. I got these. I got these at the. I got these at the niche. I had a bunch of them. I don't know if I have any left. Uh, in a five dollar bag sale years ago, and uh, I, this may have been the last one. I'm not sure, but uh, fifty cents I paid for it. Listed it March thirteenth, two thousand eighteen. So three years ago, it sold May fourth, and I got fifteen bucks. Fourteen ninety-five free shipping. So that's a good deal. Fifty cents to fifteen bucks. I'm into that. I like it. I like it. The Pony Express. Paid too much. I got this at the Goodwill, and their book prices have gone up, and now their game prices have gone up now, and uh, the VHS tapes haven't gone up yet, but I'm sure that's going to come. And I was in there today, and I did I did buy a few few things in there, but I have to look for things nobody else is looking for. I got VHS tapes, I got a few cassette tapes, and uh, I got a, a Boyd's Bear stuffed animal for ninety nine cents, which was I couldn't believe it. But that's just gonna go over the shop because they don't sell that crate anymore. Um, I got a few other things over there, not 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 too much, so. Um, yeah, so the one thing I did pick out that I found was a had a half of a half off sticker on it. So someone had somehow part of the sticker had gotten peeled off the price tag, but it was a, it was a 
it was a half off price tag and it took me five minutes to get this it was a adapt it was a power adapter for a power wheels you know those toys that kids ride around on and i can usually do okay with those it must have taken me three four minutes to get the thing unraveled from around the other ones and i took it up and i asked the girl to to take it back and get a price for me and she goes oh no we can't do that anymore it has to go back to get repriced and put back out and i'm like well you know fine whatever you know i irritated me though because i took my time to get it unraveled from the mess and i took i took it up there and if it was up to them it would have just it would have got thrown out you know so i should have waited till next week and that those prices would have been the orange all the orange tags would have been the same price so i could have just would have been what, 49 cents or something and i didn't think about that that was dumb yeah that was dumb all right well, anyway, the Pony Express, a buck forty-nine. I paid for this at Goodwill. I uh, listed it March fifteenth. It sold May fourth for four bucks. I took a best offer on it, four bucks plus shipping. I, I had more on it, but uh, that one wasn't selling that great anyway. So I was okay with it. I was okay with it. Cleared it out. Got some space. Pyrex. Uh, a lot of four of these coffee mugs. Uh, the Blue Onion Old Town, Old Town Blue Onion. And I paid three dollars and sixteen cents for these. They did not come from, or did they? They may have come from that. Maybe they did come from that. Uh, what's three sixteen divided by four? I don't know. Three sixteen divided by four. Uh, calculator, calculator. There you are. Somebody already has the answer right now, and I don't. Way to go, dude. That's the way to be. Smart. 79 cents. Okay, so yeah, no, I did get them. I must have got them. I got them at Goodwill for 79 cents each. That's how that, um, I didn't think I got any of those at, in that clean out. I might have, but... Yeah, yeah that, that $250, that 250 buy. Yeah, so 415, April 15th, I listed them. Sold Mar May 5th for $16.99 for the set. Plus shipping. Sixteen ninety nine for the set, so I'm good. But that was good. That was a good price for those. Okay, laser tag, just the one, just the one gun. Lots of scratches. The battery part, battery compartment was clean. Um, I think it made noises and stuff. I'm not sure now, but uh, I usually try to test them the best I can. I paid a buck for it. Buck, 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 buck. I listed it December fourth, two thousand nineteen. Year and a half later, it sold on May fifth for thirteen bucks plus shipping. I guess I won't be buying those no more. That took a while. Man, you're probably familiar with this, the, these books and TV show now they have out there. I've been selling the, these uh, Outlander books for a long, long time. And the price has come down on them, but this is still, it's paperback. I paid a quarter. I listed it uh, July 11th, 2020. It sold May 5th for $5.99. And I think it took, I think I got a message from her telling me that it took, it took a long time to get there. Something happened. I forget what it was, but, uh, but she did get it. So next. All right. What do we got here? Seven of these. There's seven avocado green glass tumblers, Anchor Hawking. I paid two bucks for the lot. I listed them March 21st. They sold May 5th for $40 plus shipping. And the tumblers, and probably I think the bowl, I think the bowls you can get that for. And a lot of glassware that tumblers on bowling are bowling, and bowls are usually the things that get broken, so because they they actually get used. So, um, so those are the things you, you can, you can uh, probably count on to sell depending on what it is you're looking for, but you already knew that. And it's another field guide. I got this for 50 cents. I bought it in a bag lot at the niche, five bucks a bag. And, uh, let's see. I listed January 29th, sold May 6th for $6 plus shipping. I was, I sold a bunch of them for, I think, 10 over and over, and I sold a few in between there. Mostly 10, 8, and a couple for 5, I think. 
This one I got six for it, and I'm good now at this point because I made so much money back that I'm good. Whatever, whatever the rest of them get, you know, sold for. There aren't, there aren't. There's a few left, not too many. Maybe three or four. All right, this is a keychain. I had this. I have had this keychain for a very long time. <laughs> I have had it a long time. In fact, let's see. It, it is. Uh, I don't know what I paid for it anymore because I've had it for so long. But I listed it October thirty first. 2019 I think that is that right yeah 2019 but it had a sticker on it from the very first antique shop I was in like 10 years ago so uh, it, it got brought home and put, it was in a box and got brought home in the basement and and the box got put there and just got left there and then I was I was cleaning out and uh, cleaning out the, the one corner in the basement and uh, that's one of the things that got listed and it sold for five bucks on may 6th so that was nice uh, i was i was okay with that um i didn't expect to get much for it i do like those old kind of keychains um, i don't know how many people are really into the usda but uh maybe he worked for them whoever bought it i don't know but i like those kind of keychains i thought sure these were he-man but they're 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 not. They're all pro wrestling action figures. Somebody on the uh, act, the real action figure identification Facebook page told me what they were. So then I was good because uh, they were difficult to find. But seventy seven cents I paid for the pair, and I listed them December second. They sold May sixth for twelve bucks. Twelve bucks plus shipping. And that was good. Action figures, man. Action figures. Uh, paperback book a lot. This, let's see, I paid a dollar. There's 16 of them. I paid a buck. The, the one thrift store I go to has a uh, buck a bag for books. So um, it's hard not to make money on a buck a bag, which is really great because I spend a lot of money in there. So uh, even though they're only a buck a bag for books, I still spend a lot of money in there when I go in. So that's good for them. It's good for me. Sorry, I'm parched. I am parched today, so I I, I keep drinking water. Uh, yeah, so yeah. All right, well then these, so I paid a buck for them. I listed them March 24th. They sold May 6th for $30 plus shipping. 30 bucks plus shipping on those. Very nice. Lincoln Logs. Six of them. Just six Lincoln Logs. And uh, let's see. I didn't get much for them. 33 cents I paid. Listed February 1st. Sold May 7th for $4 plus shipping. I have sold Lincoln Logs for a lot more than that. If you've watched my videos, you know that uh, some Lincoln Logs can go very well. They sat for a while. I took the best offer. Get things moving, hopefully. And uh, uh, I'm not sure if they did, but I'm good with it, so next rummy cub replacement tiles it's a complete set 106 of them and these came in a bag lot i think in a bag lot from the niche i bought or did they nope not these ones that those are different ones these ones i got a goodwill right after i got the other ones from the niche and so these are 99 cents at the time their price went up so they're not 99 cents anymore but they were then so I listed them april 4th and they sold May 7th for $12.99. Is that right? $12.99 for those. Woohoo! Yeah, I like that. $12.99 for those. That was cool. Plus shipping. So, like, it's, it's like over 20 bucks for those. Cool. Uh, imagine a couple, a couple of, in, of the Invisible Man from Fisher Price. There's two of them there. I paid uh, 28 cents for the pair. Listed them April 29th. They sold May 7th for seven dollars and forty nine cents. They got two bids. I ran an auction. They got two bids. Woo! Plus shipping. It's always nice when you get two bids on an auction. Or twenty. Yeah, you don't see that so much. And these are Uncle Arthur's bedtime stories. Uh, they are obviously quite old. You can see the condition there. There is a little, a little rough. They were a little rough. But I paid two bucks for them, and let's see, I listed them March 31st. They sold May 7th for $25 plus shipping. 25 bucks plus shipping. Yep. 
I'm good with that. I have, I have sold a lot of Uncle, Uncle Arthur's books over the years. Uh, again, they, they don't sell like they used to, but um, they still... They, I'm alright with 25 bucks for some books. That's cool. Alright, and next, and this is the last thing I sold for the week. Revlon. Oh, there was something... Was this the one? Or was that... Must that maybe that was a different one. I had one of these that I sold. It might have been this one. I'm not sure now. I didn't fix it though, did I? No. Well, I don't know. It might have been this one. I don't have it marked on here, so I'm just going to let it go. But I paid $12 for the four of them. And I, let's see, I listed them May 3rd. They sold May 7th for $30. If this is the one I'm thinking it is, it had a broken, one of them had a broken cap. And they were complaining about the broken cap so oh i can't use it not that they couldn't take a cap off another one and putting the cap on the one with the broken cap but i just i just refunded them a 25 percent of the say of the of the sale so and they were good with that they, you know so um yeah so anyway let's see everything that sold uh, after after the one item that was canceled was thirty nine ninety five so forty bucks I paid for everything that sold and my net sales after that one item that was canceled is four hundred and thirty six dollars and eighty eight cents so that works forty bucks to four hundred and thirty six thirty seven that's good okay well thanks for watching I hope you have a great day um, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye. Keep listening. See ya.